Hey Pisces, welcome to the second half of November love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, so my normal intro, I'm not doing it. It takes too much time. It takes way too much time. Um, if you have any questions about how to interpret uh, the messages that I'm giving you or how to interpret tarot in general as a viewer, please check the link below. Um, people have suggested I do like like pre a pre-recorded intro and like cut it in or like paste it in. I'm not really inclined to do that. I'll be honest with you. I'm not really inclined to do that. It's not a bad idea. I'm not saying it's not a bad idea. It's a good idea. Um, I just feel like it's a little, I don't know. I don't know the word for it. I, I, I just feel like it's a, it's a little much. That's all. I just feel like it's a little much and a little time intensive given how long my readings are. Um, but anyway, anyway, Pisces, I had to stop meditating on your energy because all of a sudden tears came up and it was like, holy shit. It's like, why are tears coming up? Um, so Pisces, I did get a lot of like little channelings before that. And I'm trying to like, I'm just trying to push the energy back because it was really overwhelming and really intense. Okay. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Okay. I think a lot of you might already be feeling this. They're saying no. Okay. No, a lot of you are not feeling this yet. It's coming. It's coming up. Um, Pisces, the little mini channelings I want to mention first. Um, first of all, creativity is big for you guys during this last half of November because of the full moon in Taurus that is today. Happy full moon in Taurus. Um, a lot of aspects happening with Neptune, which is your home home planet, excuse me, and it is home in Pisces, retrograding, going direct on the 27th. A lot of creative energy. So please create. Right now, Pisces, I did see brushes, which I thought was really cool. I saw brushes. Um, they didn't quite look like paint brushes, but you could be an artist of some kind. Um, but something with brushes, I don't know brushes um either way whatever your creative outlet is start start to create especially if it's something that you already do for your work like let's say you're a musician or you're an actual artist or i guess a musician is artist i mean you know what i'm trying to say if you're involved in the creative arts in your career it's really gonna pay off whatever you do right now okay it's really gonna pay off for you later okay especially um i feel like even in december you might see some um uh benefits because of that my words are almost back, I promise. My words are almost back. They're almost back here. Um, Pisces, I was also getting a lot of self-reflective energy. Um, it was actually really cool. They like, you know how sometimes like if you're looking out at the ocean and the sun hits the water just right and it just like, it's almost blinding, but kind of in a beautiful way. They actually showed me that. So some of you could just be spending a lot of time on the water, but I do feel you're just spending a lot of time reflecting on your feelings, your own inner shit yourself and I feel like around toxic behaviors specifically toxic behaviors um and, oh, and perspective they just said perspective Pisces I was picking up on a lot of body image stuff which I was kind of surprised by I was picking up on a lot of body image stuff that might be coming up for you or might be an old issue of yours and maybe you're realizing oh you know what I never really dealt with that or I never really got over that entirely like let me work on that I just feel a lot of focus on the body in an unhealthy way, almost like, um, and no judgment, we all got our shit. We all got our shit, no judgment. Almost like body dysmorphia in a way, like um, a lot of criticism, whether you're doing that to yourself or someone's doing that to you, keep in mind it's energy I'm picking up in meditation. So it can be vice versa or reverse, or it could be someone in your environment experiencing this, or you could be doing this to someone. I doubt you're doing this to somebody. Um, but I was getting a lot of that, almost like a lot of criticism about the body, okay? Whether you do that to yourself or someone has done that to you in the past or is currently doing that to you. And you might be realizing like, wow, that has actually really affected me and I don't really see myself accurately or I, I focus, I, I spend too much time on how I look or how I need to look, need, I just heard need, like need to look. Um, just, you know, just be mindful of that. It seems like you are being mindful of that, but you know, don't let it consume you. If you want to get healthy, get healthy. No, I'm wrong with getting healthy. Um, you know, to each their own. But just make sure that it's not like in a, in a bordering on like a mentally mm, distorted way. Okay. Or unhealthy way. Again, toxic behavior, right? Toxic behavior, toxic patterns. This woman's great for breaking that. Um, that like, those tears want to come back out. Yeah, Pisces, it just hit me like a train. I was like, why do I want to cry? <laughs> um, Pisces, it's it's a really funky energy that I'm feeling with the tears here. You could just be purging, but I feel like something really big is forming in your life, it, like a new something, whether it's just like a new job, a move, a new project, something new, something new, a new kind of cycle. But it also seems like something really big, like almost equivalent is ending. Um, 
I don't feel like they're related, which is interesting. I don't feel like they're related. I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's a cycle within a cycle. Like, like with relationships, right? You go through a cycle, you work through that stuff and you start over and you start over, you know, like different phases. It's not like different phase of something. It's something new and something not related to that is ending. Whatever big thing is ending for you might have to end because of this new big thing here. Um, for some, it also just feels like like a um, an ending of something that was just like newly started as well, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, you know, some of you, it's like you maybe you try to start something new, and out of nowhere, for whatever reason or another, universe had other plans, <laughs> right? Universe had other plans for you, Pisces, and that had to end for something else to start. But that's how it feels. Whatever, whatever it is, they're not connected. They're not related. Like they don't bleed into each other. Like this is something separate that's ending. This is something completely separate that's beginning. Okay. Um, and I just feel a lot of pain with that. Like a lot of pain with that. <sighs> trying really hard to push this, these tears out. And I just did my makeup. <laughs> I just did my eyeliner. So I'm, I'm really trying not, not to like go, it, go down that road. Um, but Pisces, I do feel a lot of crying. I do feel a lot of heart chakra energy. Um, still pushing that out pushing that shit out um and it feels like you don't have a choice I, I don't think it's bad I don't think it's bad I think it's really positive I think whatever this new thing is that's starting is really important for you and really beneficial for you but there's just this energy of like you're almost kind of mad because you don't have a choice oh my god you're almost mad because you don't have I almost can't look at myself because I'm like I know I'm about to cry you're almost mad because you don't have a choice um or at least that's how you feel that's how you feel. Um, for some, there's conversations involved in this. I'm also feeling money involved in this. This could be a, a career involved in something that's ending or something that's beginning, okay? Pisces, either way, let's go ahead and get to the pre-shuffle because I don't want to cry. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. Hmm. <laughs> and like I said, Pisces, it could just be someone that you're connecting with that's going through this or someone within your environment, okay? Whew. Oh, by the way, I'm using, um, I got all distracted. I'm using the Cosmic Tarot as the primary for you guys, okay? Mm. Closing for new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Why did they bring up the, okay, they're bringing up the body shit to me again. Um, so for some of you who are battling this issue specifically like more in the realm of like body dysmorphia or um or even like eating disorders again no 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 shade no tina shade we've all we've all got our shit we've all got our shit i'm not judging anybody for especially in that area no we're not judging anybody um for some of you i'm just i keep getting a scenario here where it's like someone says a lot of shit about your body and it could just be coming from yourself but i feel like it's external and again this could have been something that uh, was an issue that was in your childhood or someone who's like actively doing it now um or recent past either way external energy of someone like criticizing your body um i feel like another external energy where it's it's very comforting very like teddy bear energy and i think this external energy is making you realize um that you that you you look amazing the way you you are this is not for everybody. This has got to be for like a few people um, that, that you look great the way you are and actually is making you feel more comfortable in your skin. Oh, that's bringing up some tears for somebody. Oh, um, <laughs> it's definitely bringing up some tears for somebody. Uh, but yeah, it's like there's obviously there's like three energies in this uh, and it could just all be friend related. It could all be family members. It doesn't have to be love interest. But yeah, like someone who's had experience or is experiencing someone talking shit about the way they look or, or about their body. And that's that's formed some negative ideologies about yourself and the way you look. Um, this other energy is really making you feel really good about yourself and really helping you work through those issues. And that's beautiful. I really like that. Anyway. OK, getting back to the pre shuffle. That's too many, spirit. Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the last half of November, I'm seeing the 18th and 19th. Interesting. Those might be big dates for somebody. I'm trying to think of what's leading up to that. The Mercury goes direct on the 20th. Yeah, I can't think of any planetary shifts that are happening on the 18th and 19th. Might be some star shifts. Star shifts, starships, starships, or asteroid shifts. 
uh, that might be happening on those dates, but I'm not aware of that. Okay. Who's been for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November? Mm. Why am I seeing cats? I'm seeing cats. It's interesting. Um... I feel like that's acting as the animal totem for you. If you start seeing a lot of cats, whether it's just in your dream or they just walk past you, especially if you don't own any cats and all of a sudden you're seeing a lot of cats, uh, just pay attention to that. It's it's relating to an independence, okay? It's relating to, uh, most, I'm also saying leadership. Leadership, independence. Colors of cats also come in like different spiritual meanings. Um, but that's what I'm getting specifically with that for you, Pisces, if you've seen that. It's about your leadership skills and taking on those, owning, thank you, owning those leadership skills. Um, oh, and being the leader of your own life. That's not for everybody. That's definitely for a few of you. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Okay. We have the moon in reverse, Pisces. I love it when we start off with a major arcana card for the sign. This is the Pisces major arcana card, but it's also Cancerian for me as a reader. This is having clarity, a lot of realizations. And again, I feel like it's through self-reflection. I do feel like it's through self-reflection. A lot of truths will be coming out as well. You won't be so confused anymore. You won't be so confused anymore about why you feel a certain way about a, a, a person or a situation. I feel like some of you Pisceans have had a lot of confusion about your path. A lot of confusion about the, your path and where you're supposed to go, um, where you think you're doing good and then maybe like something happens, like a tower moment or what have you. Someone enters your life, someone leaves your life, you have some obstacles, some kerfluffles, and you're just like, I thought I knew what was going on. I thought I knew what was going on. You're, that feeling of um, confusion, anxiety associated with it is going away. It's going to go away. Oh, what did I say? Ace of Swords in reverse. Confusion. Confusion and illusion. You're realizing what the what the things in your life were that were confusing you or even acting as obstacles. And you're going to be very clear about that. OK, if Ace of Swords came out on its Ace of Swords in reverse came out on its own, I would say you are confused. But I, I moon in reverse. That's obviously clarity of what you've been confused about. Um, I just heard your own truth as well, Pisces, your own truth about something. Some of you could have an air moon placement. Just get, you know, put the moon in the Ace of Swords. Uh, I'm also getting something about communication. What is this? I feel like Pisces, you're also trying to read between the lines with someone um, in, in the way they say things. Mostly in what they don't say. Hmm. Careful with that, Pisces. You're very intuitive. You're very intuitive. And right now it's going to be really amplified because you have all the Neptune aspects happening with the uh, full moon. And we're gonna, that's going to be locked in for the rest of November. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're looking for shit that ain't there. This feels really familiar, Pisces. I don't know if I have this with you or another air sign, but I feel like I had this with an air sign in the last batch. Um, I feel like you're looking for things that might not be there. Keep in mind, this can be vice versa. Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces? Ooh, we have a Prince of Pentacles in reverse, which is like a Knight of Pentacles, for those who are not familiar with the different terminologies. Uh, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. There's been no movement in a situation. And I feel like Pisces, you actually have been not moving forward in something, towards something or someone because you've had these confusions like I just said like where do I go like I thought I was doing this I thought we were doing that um but because you're getting clarity about that I think there's about to be movement and what there hasn't been movement in so far okay oh and there it is the chariot can't I, I love tarot the chariot can't see energy that's a lot of hell that's a lot of hella movement okay <laughs> that's a lot of movement Fast movement. This is better than a night. It's basically the essential of the equivalent, not essential, excuse me, equivalent of two nights here, okay? Yeah, whatever ha there has been movement in, there's about to be a lot of movement. Some of you might actually be moving as well. It is a card of movement. Y'all, oh, ooh, um, what's this about cars? I actually need something about cars. Um, some of you might have to buy a new car. 
Oh, Pisces. Okay. I don't know what's happening to your old car. I, I don't know if it's just a breakdown. Wow, this is a download for one person. Um, Your car is going to get totaled on the street. Like I just saw it. It's like, I think you live like on a hill or an angle of some kind. I feel like you live in the mountains or a mountainous area and your car is going to get totaled just by being parked there. Someone's just going to crash into it. Um, and you're going to have to get a new car. Someone's going to, a few of you are going to have to get a new car, but there's a, one person in particular, it's going to get totaled because someone's going to like just smash right into it. Well, it's, again, I'm getting, I'm seeing a hill. Looks like a black car. I'm seeing a hill. Oh, what kind of brand is that? <sighs> Oh, I'm so terrible with car brands. Um, it looks like a SUV, like a black SUV. I don't know what brand that is. Anyway, that's for one person. Or again, it could just be someone you know. Very mountainous area. Anyway, forward movements. <laughs> forward movement Pisces. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, we're still in the pre-shuffle. I'm sorry. I just got so caught up in it. Nine of Pentacles, um, Virgo energy. You know what? This feels really like strong energy. And I'm like, God, I'm 16 minutes in. Let's just stick with this for the reading, actually, Pisces. This feels really strong energy. Um, it came out like this for a reason. So funny. I got so stuck in that. Um, Nine of Pentacles is it a pre-empress energy, a very single energy. Some of you, it's just about moving into your stability. Moving toward your stability. Building yourself up. Building up a business as well. Building up your confidence. If you've been thinking of making moves towards someone, that movement's about to happen. That movement's about to happen. Let's keep it going. I know this was supposed to be pre-shuffled up. Like, if it, it just feels so right. It just feels so right, Pisces. Oh, now we have a Princess of Pentacles, um, which is a page of Pentacles, which is reflection, which we've been getting a lot of that kind of energy for you. Uh, it's also an, a message, an olive branch. Oh, it could be an invitation for a date, Pisces. I like that. Any messages for Pisces? All right. Now we have Seven of Cups. I Scorpionic energy and Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. I feel like someone wants attention. Someone feels really confused about something. Someone feels really left in the dark about something. And they want it cleared up and they want attention as well. I'm just getting attention, attention. Ooh, oh God. On the bottom, we have Seven of Swords. Yikes. Aquarian energy. Seven of Swords, as you all know, it's the deceptive card. I f uh, yeah, with the full moon in the background, though, I really feel like it's just the illusion here. Um, yeah, I really feel like it's just about the illusions, the things that were not obvious. The things that were not obvious. I really feel like that's all it is. Because underneath that, we have the hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, clarity, clarity about that. Okay? So let's go ahead and break this down a little bit. Uh, let's look at the moon in reverse and see what clarity is coming to mind for you. I'm going to use Rider Wait for this one. Wow, Pisces, you sucked me right in. <laughs> right in. Play with the moon in reverse. Play with the moon in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Play with the moon in reverse for Pisces regarding love for the last half of November. What's the clarity coming out to light here? What's the clarity coming to light? Play with the moon in reverse. Let's see what we have here. Wow, Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. What makes you happy, Pisces? What makes you super happy? This is also a Piscean card. Um, Self-fulfillment as well. Yeah, Pisces, you just want to feel comfortable in your skin. You want to feel happy about your life. We do have, like I said, the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups here. I feel like these are two different people. That's very interesting. I feel like these are two different people here, Pisces. Um, so pick who you are, but I definitely feel like this is a movement towards someone who's very stable, very independent. Of course, Pisces, you're seeking that within yourself as well in the form of a Nine of Cups, okay? So whoever you're heading towards, keep in mind, Pisces, you could be the person that this Nine of Cups person's heading towards. Um, you're both kind of mirroring each other in a way. You're both at the Nine, and both about your own kind of stability. But for you, Pisces, it's your emotional stability. This person is financially very stable, both independent, both seeking independence, both embodying independence. Time about the moon in reverse for Pisces. 
Ooh, three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. So for some of you, this is about your dream job. I love that. I freaking love that, Pisces. Some of you, this is about your dream job and finally seeing the path there. Finally seeing where your destiny lies, where what your purpose is. Oh, Pisces, I love this. What your purpose is. Um, it is also about building with someone, collaborating with other people, and starting to build up a really strong foundation. I do feel like it's about a strong foundation here. Sign of the moon in reverse. Pisces, this kind of pentacles person, uh, I feel like this is the person who's been a little confused. He's been a little confused about something here. Um, yeah, okay, I see. The person who's attaining their nine of cups, Pisces, I do feel like it's you, but it can be vice versa. So again, pick who you are in the story. Has been this person who hasn't been moving forward because they've had a lot of confusion and illusions about their path, right? And now they're moving towards someone that I feel like they kind of kept in the dark a little bit. They kept in the dark a little bit. Um, and they, they just want clarity, but you're, but whoever's running towards this person, whoever's running towards this princess, uh, will provide it. We'll definitely provide it. And you know, the fact that we have a prince and a princess, there might be a little bit of an age difference here. It's a knight with a page. So I have the moon in reverse for Pisces. So I have the moon in reverse for Pisces regarding love for the last half of November. Time of the moon in reverse for Pisces regarding love for the last half of November. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. The illusion and confusions that have um, basically not allowed you to see your clear path has really kind of given you a lot of anxiety, okay? But I feel like this is passing. I feel like this is what you're getting over. Um, I also feel an energy of like, did I miss out on my, did I miss out on my, my, my opportunities already? Did I miss it? Did I not see it? Again, just more of that illusion and shit. Did I not really see where I was supposed to go? Did I already miss my chance? You didn't. You're realizing you didn't because you're realizing what your purpose is and what's really going to make you happy, especially in the realm of career and especially with collaborating or dealing with this nine of pentacles person. Okay. So all those anxieties, all those worries, all that stress is going to dissipate because you're going to get the clarity you need, Pisces. Okay? Now, like I said, while you were figuring this shit out, you weren't making moves. You weren't making moves towards your Nine of Pentacles state for some of you. Also, this feels a little similar to the Scorpio read. Um, if you're dealing with Scorpio, go ahead and check that out. Um, and for those where there's another person, I feel like for most of you, this is a person that you've been wanting to head towards, but you haven't been doing it. You haven't been opening up to oh, opening up. I'm seeing four of pentacles. You haven't been opening up to this person or moving towards them because you wanted to be clear about yourself first, right? Which only makes sense. So let's look at the chariot and see you heading towards this person. Uh, um... I'm like, ah, what deck do I want? Uh, crystal visions or honest truth? I'm feeling honest truth. Let's do honest truth. Climb up the chariot. Climb up the chariot for Pisces. Climb up the chariot for Pisces regarding love for the last half of November. Climb up the chariot for Pisces regarding love for the last half of November. Time with the chariot for Pisces regarding love for the last half of November. Time with the chariot for Pisces regarding love for the last half of November. I love to see two independent energies like this. I really love to see that. You rarely get to see that in these tarot readings, but I see two people who are basically at the same place. Pisces, you're getting there. It's almost like you're meeting them or catching up with them. You're catching up with them because you're catching up to the nine. Well, they're sitting at the Nine of Pentacles. Well, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Chariot. Whoever it is you're heading towards, they do feel very single. They don't have to be. I just feel a fierce independence. Yeah, I feel a fierce independence with whoever that is. Oh, focus. All right, we're back. All right, tell me about the Chariot. Ooh, King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. You could be a cusper here. Again, being very clear-headed in what you want. In what you want and what's going to make you happy moving forward here. 
Like I, I keep feeling a bit of an age difference. I don't know why I keep feeling that, but I do keep feeling that here. Again, it doesn't have to be, but Pisces, whatever clarity you're coming into um, about your purpose and your path, it's really also helped you to mature and work through a lot of your own stuff as well, okay? Tell me about the chariot. Ooh, five of pentacles, Taurian energy. Yeah, exactly. This is where you've been coming from with that five of pentacles energy, Taurian energy. Um, feeling a little down and out or just feeling like you're lacking in some way, like you could have more or that you're meant for more, right? Five of Pentacles is having money trouble or being out in the cold or feeling very separated from someone. I feel like Pisces, you've missed this Nine of Pentacles person. I feel like there's a little bit of a longing there. I also feel loneliness on your end. I'll be honest here, Pisces. I feel loneliness. This King of Swords, again, Pisces, you could be the Nine of Pentacles person, but this King has felt lonely and they don't want to feel lonely anymore. They don't want to feel lonely anymore. I feel like, <laughs> I'm also getting that this king, I do feel like it's you, Pisces, like I said. Pick who you are. This loneliness that this person's been feeling, um, I feel like they've always kind of felt it, but they've done a really good job at masking it or like staying really busy so they wouldn't have to feel it. Talking about the chariot for Pisces. Talking about the chariot. Ooh. Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. Putting down defenses. I feel like defenses were up, Pisces, while you were working through your shit. While you're in this confused state, it's kind of like, eh, I'll keep my distance. I'll keep my arm's length from this Nine of Pentacles person because I don't really know where I'm going or I don't really have full understanding of them or myself right now or what's ahead or the situation at hand. I want full clarity before I like open myself up but Pisces like I said I've been feeling a, a really hard time with you of opening up in general you're not having a hard time with that anymore after you get clarity about your own purpose your own path and what's really going to make you happy and like I said for a lot of you it is about dealing with this person building with this person because it's almost like you recognize they're supposed to be on your path right now um and for some of you, this is just about getting to your own Nine of Pentacles stability uh, state. And for a lot of you, that's going to require career change or career development. Tell me about the Chariot. Because there are a lot of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Chariot for Pisces. Ooh. Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy. It could also be water or fire. You've held back on your emotions. Especially to this person. You've really held back on opening up. You're done doing that. Tell me about the Chariot. For Pisces. Tell me about the chariot for Pisces. Whoa. Card explosion. Justice. Libra energy. We got a huge batch that just came out here. Let's see what we have. Seven of Wands. There's the defenses. Leo energy. Four of Swords. Libra energy. Ooh, we got the King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. With the Ace of Wands in reverse. Wow. And the Seven of Pentacles. I feel redirection with that. Yeah, I feel redirection with that. So, oh God, nasally again. Ah, this has been happening every time I do a read now. So the Seven of Wands and the Four of Swords and the King of Pentacles, like I said, you've been defensive while you seek your clarity about your stability and about what you want for yourself moving forward. A big, big distance energy, a big push off energy. You could have gone into full hermit mode on this person. Keep in mind, this can be vice versa. But while you were doing that, you were not giving to anybody emotionally, like very minimally very very minimally here and then we have ace of wands in verse the seven of pentacles i feel a redirection like losing passion for something you've been involved there's that big thing that's closing so a new big thing can open uh losing passion for something you've been involved in to take a new direction and something that will be your wish fulfillment that will be your wish fulfillment but it feels painful for some of you it's a painful decision yeah, for some of you, it's a really painful decision because overall, we have Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. Moving towards the sign of Pentacles state of being or person is re relieving a burden, but at the same time, you're losing passion for something you've already invested a lot of time in. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Something that's either taken a lot of your energy, a lot of your money, a lot of you. Almost to the point where you couldn't give to anyone or anything else because it was almost all consuming. Oh God, Pisces. Because <laughs> it was almost all consuming. Yeah, I feel a major redirection with this. Getting to this Nine of Pentacles state of being or going towards this person is a total change of direction for you. 
for whatever's resonating with this, it's a total change of direction with for you, which I think is also why you've really been like, I can't go there, I can't go there, I can't go there. That's require a lot of change from me, or there's just a lot of confusion if I should even be doing this right now. Do I even know what I want? Am I even still happy? Is this thing or situation or person gonna make me happy? Going into that confusing confusion state. But like I said, you're gonna get clarity on that. You're gonna get clarity on that. You were a little mentally tortured there for a little while, Pisces. And keep in mind, it's energy. We all, through, we all work through energy differently, but you're going to know exactly what it is you want and where to go towards. And for a lot of you, it's this person or state of being, but it will require redirection. It will require require a redirection. I feel like Pisces, you're realizing that the path you've been on has almost been self self sabotaging uh, or deceptive or illusionary in some way, mostly because you've been confused, um, but it just hasn't been the right direction for you. It's time for a redirect. That might be, oh, actually, let me write that down. <laughs> that's actually a really good title for this. Uh, okay. I, hold on. Time. Okay, perfect. All right. Now, let's get into this Princess of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Wands. Again, I'm getting that this person has been kind of left in the dark, this person that you're heading towards, Pisces. Um, with that, con They've got, it's so funny, a little bit of mirroring going on there. You both have been confused. They're confused because you left them in the dark while you were confused about their role in your life. Or again, your own path here. If it's just about you and your own path, please watch a Scorpio read. This is like so similar to the Scorpio reading. Um, if you were confused about your own path here, Pisces, again, it's just paying attention to that. Paying attention to that and addressing that. You want to look at mm, Seven of Cups? No, I mean, it's uh, confusion's being left behind, so I don't really want to go there. But the Six of Wands, let's look at the Six of Wands. Yeah, let's look at the Six of Wands. Uh, I will use Crystal Visions for this one. Time with the Six of Wands. For Pisces, regarding love for the last half of November. Something about pasta? What the hell? I'm getting tired of these food channelings, guys. <laughs> I'm really tired of these food channelings. I'm seeing a lot of butter. Like pasta and a lot of butter. I don't know if you're just eating like garlic noodles or butter noodles. Um, that's just what I'm seeing. I'm seeing pasta with a lot of butter. Some of, oh, maybe you're making mac and cheese. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me about the six salons. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm the Six of Wands for Pisces. Regarding love for the last half of November. Oh, I just heard be brave, Pisces. Be brave. I feel like I've had that message for you guys before. Um, sometimes redirections can be scary. You've been in the, in the Nine of Swords about it. So yeah, sometimes it can be very scary. Um... Whatever, whatever you're doing next, Pisces, whatever this redirection is, it's going to bring in so much happiness and stability for you, whether it's with someone like this Nine of Pentacles person or you're just doing this for yourself. Um, a lot of happiness, a lot of happiness, a lot of stability. Tell me about the Six of Wands. I mean, we're ending with the Six of Wands. That's attention and victory, right? Tell me about the Six of Wands. Oh my God, and I just noticed too. I mean, I know it's a Leo card, but I'm just noticing the Lion. It just reminds me of the Strength card. All right, tell me about Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands for Pisces. Tell me about the Six of Wands for Pisces. Regarding love for the last half of November. Some of you, oh, Pisces, let's not go down that road. A lot of you have questioned your own worth, your own value in your role your, your role in life or even in relationships or even at work some of you have really questioned your value um you you don't have to don't <laughs> i was like what's the what's the best advice here just don't just don't um don't <laughs> just don't just just don't just don't do that do i have a six of wands usually I, i'm full of sage wisdom but like i i don't have my words today just don't do that just don't do that. okay just don't do it it's 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 um it's a waste of energy it's a waste of energy pisces everybody has worth everybody has value and it's really all about just really being happy anyway not necessarily putting like a, a value number on yourself of if i don't do this i'm not worthy no we're all worthy 
just just don't do that just don't do that so interesting we have death okay as death comes up death scorpionic energy god i'm feeling an ending again with this also a big transformation pisces a big transformation big transformation here um not surprising with this redirection and like i said a lot of you are, are in that self-reflected mode self-reflective mode excuse me oh boy so now we have the moon again, but upright. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Oh God, death with the moon card. Some of you guys is a dark night of the soul kind of transformation or ego healing. It feels deep, it feels very deep. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. With the nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, Jesus. And the queen of swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. I feel like this is all about your own insecurities, Pisces. All of this energy... All of this, I feel like it's just about your own insecurities, your own instability, and not really having that clarity on where to go next, okay? For the person you're heading towards, though, again, I'm getting that you've left them in the dark, but they've been going through their own shit, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, they've been going through their own shit, too, Pisces. This person who's been left confused um, and wondering kind of what's going on as you've put, put distance or not um, been vulnerable with them. They've really been going through their own shit. They're very intuitive. You're both... You both are. You're both in fiercely intuitive. Um, I feel like they've really retracted in their communication, Pisces, because you've put up some distance while you were figuring shit out. And in doing so, they've, they've kind of lost a little bit. Of, in doing that, they, they're, they're kind of losing faith in this. But as you come forward on your chariot... On your chariot, you're bringing attention to the issue. You're bringing attention to it, okay? Bringing attention to it. And there's almost a sense of renewal with that. Oh, that's beautiful. I like this energy that's coming in. It feels really bright. Um, with this conversation and coming towards this person and bringing attention to that of why you weren't really being super vulnerable or why, you know, maybe you weren't being your authentic self because at the end of the day, you're realizing you just weren't being authentic to yourself. And if you're not being authentic to yourself, you can't be authentic to other people, right? Um, it's bringing a sense of renewal to the situation with this person. And like I said, for those where it's just between you and you, again, you got to watch the Scorpio read. This is so similar. Um, for those, for those where this is a, a, an issue between you and you, there is a major transformation for some, even, even an ego healing or just a deep, deep healing within that, um, for some, a dark night of the soul about your own insecurities. All right. Play more with the six of wands. For some, this is also overcoming mental illness. Wow. Yeah, for some, this is overcoming mental illness. Managing it. Say managing it. Talking about seven of wands. No, so, whoa, seven of wands. Six of wands. <laughs> Don't move too fast, Pisces. Talking about the six of wands for Pisces. Regarding love for the last half of November. All right, now we have... Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy with the Four of Cups in reverse. Uh, Cancerian energy. This is fa this is facing rejection. Whoa, facing rejection. For this person that you're coming towards, they've been bracing themselves for rejection and abandonment from you. They've been bracing themselves like for the hit, essentially bracing themselves for the hit. Not wanting to believe that was going to happen, but at the same time, it's almost like worrying for nothing because clearly you're coming right to them. Quite clearly, you're coming right to them. Um, and again, for those where it's just between you and you, some definite, definite abandonment, rejection um, issues here. Overall, like being battled anyway. Overall energy, we have five of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. Ooh, I love it, Pisces. With the seven of cups in reverse, more scorpionic energy. And five of wands in reverse, Leo energy. You're putting all this shit behind you. For, you, for those battling your own issues, your own insecurities, your own shit, your own ego, your own wounds, you're really getting over it. You're really putting stuff behind you. You're getting full clarity on who you are and why you feel a certain way about certain people in certain situations and what your triggers are. You're really working through a lot of that shit here, okay? And for those who are coming into this person, you're really clearing, you're clearing all kinds of shit up for them. All kinds of shit up. It's like everything's going to make sense to this person. Everything's going to make sense to them. And very quickly, tensions between the two of you and any confusions between the two of you will be cleared up. I like it. I really like it, Pisces. So let's go ahead and get some advice. I kind of want to use Soul's Journey. 
I love the spirit animal deck. I do. I'm just getting a little tired of it, if I'm being honest. Um, let's do soul's journey. Let's do soul's journey for advice. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? 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 Any advice for my Pisceans regarding... Ooh! Okay, we got here. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Stop people pleasing. That's all I just got with that. I love you, Pisces. I love you. Stop, stop, stop people pleasing. Okay, stop people pleasing. I feel for those dealing with their own insecurities, that's why you've been kind of dragged off your path a little bit here. Because you've been so worried about what other people think. As Take that as confirmation. I don't even know what the hell that is. I was like, what the hell kind of beeping is that coming from? That's so weird. I have no idea what, what that was. I have no idea what kind of beeping that was. But take that as confirmation. Um, putting way too much time and emphasis on how people see you. Again, I'm getting that body image thing. Um, how people see you, what people think about you, how to impress other people. Uh, just for Libra, could have a strong Libra in your chart. Not, not necessarily. Could be dealing with the Libra. Um, but that has really led you astray in knowing who you are and being true to yourself. And it's time to stop doing that. It's time to stop doing that. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're following your purpose, your path, what makes you happy. And for Lottie, this includes a Nine of Pentacles individual. And for some of you where it's just between you and you, it's just about doing right by yourself. Any other advice, my Pisceans? Ah! <laughs> purpose! I love it. I know what I am here to do. Yes, you do, Pisces, or you will. It's not the oven. I don't know what the hell that is. I got to go figure that out after this video. You will, Pisces. You'll know exactly what you're supposed to do next. Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice? I might break out the shaman deck too. I want to break out the shaman deck too. And now we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yes, you can, Pisces. You can build yourself up. You can work through your issues. You can become more confident. You can build up your nest egg. You can make career moves. You can redirect your whole life if you want to. You just have to believe you can do it. You just have to believe you can do it. And you're getting to that point in your life. And Pisces, I freaking love this energy. It's got me pumped. Um, on the bottom, we have gratitude. Oh, another beautiful energy. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Oh, don't, damn it. I got through most of this without crying. No, I'm pushing it back. I'm pushing it back. A lot of you are going to have an overwhelming sense of gratitude to the point where you might want to cry. Okay. <sighs> About dealings with your own stuff, recognizing some of your own toxic behaviors, especially those who will start becoming more comfortable with who they are, what you look like, especially. Um, Finally being comfortable in your own skin for the first time, Pisces. <sighs> Just overwhelming sense of gratitude. And I'm going to put that back. Uh, let's pull up the shaman deck and then I'll wrap this up. I guess I just want to hang out in this energy with you. It's very, very beautiful energy. Any last takeaways or messages for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any last messages or takeaways for my Pisceans regarding this spread? And it's so funny because it's all about redirection and doing going into the new and being brave about it. This whole the way I did this reading was very atypical than how I do it. I was like, oh, we're in the pre-shuffle. Oh, we're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna roll with it. Um and I was like, oh, I don't want to use the Oracle deck. I'm just gonna use the Bedells. It's like, you know, it's just funny how energy works, right? Any other messages or takeaways from my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other messages? Oh, very nice. Stand still. 
52 breaking down to a seven taking the time to get that clarity right and that's what you're doing that's definitely what you're doing this is like a meditation hermit energy with the energy of seven which is about uh following your path and following your intuition divine guidance as well you will get there pisces it's just going to take some time to talk to yourself be within yourself be within yourself is what i'm getting be within yourself like a lot of you have a, have a lot of emotions but i feel like for those who are working on their own issues you might have always felt a lot but you never really how do i say this you never owned the real sources of your pain until now okay any other messages or takeaways from my piscians regarding this spread Oh, the blade, very masculine energy, energy of six, which is finding balance and harmony. The blade is a spiritual tool, tool for forging and destroying, forging and destroying. You're about to create some shit, Pisces, and you're about to build yourself up. And for some of you heading towards someone who I feel like honestly, this person's almost inspired you in a way because you're meeting them. You're meeting them at the nine. You're meeting them at very independent energy um, and getting out of codependence as well, getting out of codependence. You will be creating a lot. You're going to forge your next path. You know, you're going to know exactly what you want to forge. Oh, I'm going to have to stitch two videos. I can already see it. So <laughs> when it comes up, guys, it's like one second's going to be missing. I'm going to try to watch it. Any other messages or takeaways? Any other messages or takeaways from my Piscians regarding this spread? Oh, the council energy of 11. The council is exactly how it's there it goes. It's exactly how it sounds. Consult your higher self, consult your spirit guides, meditate, meditate and let your intuition take off. Let your intuition guide you. Let your intuition guide you because you already have all the answers, Pisces. You just got to dig within yourself and find them. They're all sitting in there. <laughs> just let it sit with yourself and find them. All right. Yeah, that's it. Oh, on the bottom, we have middle world. Energy of 36, which is breaking down to a nine. I feel like it's all about your balance, all about your balance and your stability. Like I'm being drawn to the roots here. Really ground yourself during this time, Pisces. Walk barefoot, you know, eat a lot of root vegetables. Um, really kind of just get in touch with yourself, grounding yourself. And while you're doing that, your intuition is going to be just fucking explode. Okay, it's going to explode. It's going to give you all the answers because you will be spending time alone with yourself and you'll know exactly how to forge ahead okay all right pisces i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with vimeo and instagram and i will see you guys later have a great night pisces namaste